Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Let me move this camera just a little bit. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to tell you a little story today about uh, uh, one of the members of our radio club, uh, older member, a lady. Uh, she lives alone, and uh, she's kind of out in the country and doesn't even have an uh, internet connection where she is. So uh, all she could afford to buy was one of these uh, little uh, handy talkies. And <clears throat> since she's using just a regular rubber ducky on the antenna and uh, basically operating it inside, she can hear us on our repeater when we're talking, but she can't reach us and actually trip the repeater uh, from inside her house to actually transmit. So she was talking about, you know, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get set up. Um, you know, I'll have to put up some kind of a, a mast and get the antenna up, you know, and run coax and all that stuff. So I gave her a suggestion. I want to pass it on to you and I don't want you to laugh. Don't be laughing at telescope man. Uh, anyway, these antennas come off, as most of you know, and they have a strange, uh, what's called an SMA connection, very small one. So let's, let me show you the suggestion that I gave her to improve her transmitting abilities uh, without spending a lot of money. She's on a fixed income and uh, basically living off Social Security and uh, she didn't want to spend a lot of money. So uh, first thing I asked her was, do you have a pizza pan? And she said, yeah, I think I've got a pizza pan. I've got one of those. I said, well, you can buy them for just a few dollars at a Walmart store if you don't have one. Just make sure it's uh, steel so you can go out and get yourself a $20, which is what I paid for this, little mag mount antenna that you'd normally put on a car on the roof of a car and uh, run the coax inside and then you'll have an outside antenna. But my suggestion to her was to just get a pizza pan and I've got an old pizza pan that's not really usable to make pizzas anymore. So I took that and we can stick this on there and now you have a ground plane that this antenna can work off of. And basically, you set this outside somewhere. And, of course, it, it needs to be someplace where you can run it through a door, under a door, or maybe through a window of some sort. And you can sit fairly close to the antenna. And the reason for that, let me kind of put that down, is you do get... Uh, some coax, as you can see, when you buy one of these for $20, and they sell them on Amazon, and you can pick them up just about anywhere and multiple places on the internet. So you get a, a good piece of coax, but really it was intended, uh, you know, to have, give you enough coax to uh, put the antenna on the roof of your car and then run this through the window inside and connect it up to your radio. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing you'll have to buy is this little adapter. Let me sh show you what that looks like. Little adapter right here. Let's see if I can take it off so you can see what it looks like all by itself. We'll just take it off for a minute. So here it is. And you can pick these up uh, for various radios on the internet. They don't cost very much. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this or 8 bucks or something like that. But it's got this uh, SMA connector 
which permits it to go into the radio here. Let me get that going for you. And you can screw it into the radio there. And now you can connect up a normal piece of coax to this little bitty radio. In fact, uh, even if you could plug this into here, even if you could, you wouldn't want to do that because it's stiff and the connectors inside of here aren't real strong and, and just moving this might break the connectors. So you want something that's real flexible uh, so that it won't damage your uh, radio SMA connection that's inside the radio there. So we connect it up to any common piece of coax PL259 uh, connector like you see here. It'll connect right to it. This happens to be a PL239. That's what's going into there. And then all of a sudden, your little 5 watt radio will have an external outside the house antenna. Much better antenna than this. Okay, and this is an upgraded antenna. Normally the ones you get with it are about that long. Not very good antennas. More like a, what we call a dummy load. Yeah, they do radiate, but not very much. Anyway, you get a much better antenna. And I told her more than likely with this outside, and I recommended that she put it, you know, a kind of away from the house as far as the cable would let her do it and get it up on something, you know, maybe a little table there that she'd set up outside or something uh, just to get it up, say at about this height or say the height of your head or something. Uh, you can actually put it on top of a ladder, one of, the, one of those step ladders. If you got a six foot step ladder, you, know, you could set it up on top of that. Just anything to get it up. And then run this cable back inside and she could sit inside uh, during a weather event and uh, basically transmit and reach the repeater. So not a very expensive uh, solution. You know, you just need one of these mag, mag mounts like this that you can buy all over the place. Make sure you do get a dual band. That way it doesn't matter. Um, you know, what radio you attach it to, as long as you have the proper connector. Uh, get you a dual band, uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and uh, get you a pizza plate. <clears throat> Stick it on there, make sure it's magnetically enabled pizza plate. You know, don't get you something that's made out of plastic, that won't work. <laughs> Or something out of aluminum where, uh, you know, this won't actually couple to the ground plane. So anyway, that's the solution. Very cheap, probably 30 bucks worth of materials. Even if you, you know, bought this new and, and you had to buy the connector and all that stuff and the antenna. Uh, 30 bucks and you're in business. Uh, with a lot larger transmission range than you will get with just the little antenna that's attached to these handy talky type radios. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to put the pizza pan up. I wish y'all clear skies in 73 and everybody keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. See y'all later.